Hey guys, Paul from Paul's Cards here. Just wanted to make a quick video. Um, okay, so the adjustable coil brackets. I've heard like maybe three people now ask me if they only retard the timing, which to me, I don't understand why they would think that, but let me just explain this to you. And let me just explain the way this time and adjustable bracket works so your flywheel spinning clockwise right and here when this is set on the first line this coil is in the stock position if you look at this bolt here or these bolts here that bolt the coil in it goes into the bracket but you could see this is would this bolt would go directly through into the stock location in this stock zero setting every line up that you advance is one degree of ignition timing so if this is your flywheel and it's spinning this way and when the magnet passes this coil it fires the ignition if you want to do make this happen sooner you would move the coil down because that would then <clears throat> picture one line and it's coming up and it's coming up and it's coming up if you wanted this to happen sooner you would move this contact point down so it would come sooner this can only slide down when this is installed and that's at zero time and this bracket can only add timing it can only move the coil this way so if this is, if you have an engine that you have <clears throat> stock flywheel, say the stock flywheel has 25 degrees, you have a stock key in it, that baseline is going to be 25 degrees. So if you want to get, say, 32 degrees out of a stock flywheel, you would put seven lines on. This is, this is a bill of flywheel. This one happens to have 32 degrees built into it with a stock key. On gas, you would run this on this line. Depending upon your tuning and your octane, you might go up one. If you were running on methanol or flex fuels going between the two, um, you can add, if you have a stock key, you can add 32, to, if it's a stock key on a stock flywheel, bill of flywheel, you want to get to 38 degrees, you add six lines. So that's... Uh, basically the ignition coil bracket in a nutshell um, our huck coils i always want 60 thousandths coil gap um, tighten everything down these go to uh five foot pounds um you know pretty self-explanatory once you lock this down you put however much timing in it and you tighten them back down so uh, this will allow you to add timing to any of the small block engines. GX200, the Ghost, <clears throat> Predator 212, the Tillotsons. As you can see, it's installed on a Tillotson block here. And uh, yeah, adding ignition timing, making sure you have the right timing. That's how you make the power. That's how we make the power on the dyno. We're basically just adjusting air fuel ratios through the carburetor and the ignition timing to get the most power out of the engine based on the setup it has. I'm Paul. This is Paul's Carts. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.